Could faculty be going on strike at York University yet again? I'm Natish Pisano coming to you from the university's Kiel campus where earlier today nearly 4,000 contract faculty and teaching assistants rejected the university's latest contract offer. That means many classes could be cancelled as of Monday. And as talks broke down, news broke out to students now concerned about their academic year being in jeopardy. I, you, you're the first person that told me there's a strike today, so it's very shocking to me. And it's my last semester and my, and my last year, and I require this. this I, I need this degree to start working. To be honest, it's frustrating because uh, summer is the only time that I can actually work and I can put away a little bit of money. And with the strike happening, they're going to move all the exams further into the summer, and I won't be able to start my job. This isn't the first time York University students find themselves in this situation. Strikes in 2015 and 2008 meant thousands of students were out of the class. That strike in 08 lasted 85 days and was the longest in Canadian university history. Some from the union say this one could be worse. We should have medals for how many strikes we've been at in at York. It's been it's, it's really bad. And compared to all of them is this is this they are they are being really hostile. This is really bad. A number of members of the faculty association have said that they are not going to be running their classes anyway, even though they're not on strike because it's impossible to do so and maintain the integrity of the course. So it won't be business as usual. And I think that part of the problem is that the administrators are trying to gloss over the fact that they have never taken bargaining seriously. In an email statement to City News, the university says it provided its best offer on March 2nd at QP's request. Quote, we said all along that we would go to binding arbitration to resolve the most difficult issues. We're having discussions with the conciliator this evening to see if there is any basis for settlement. In the past, I think it was I was in my first year or the second year, but the, but this one it really hurts because it's in my last semester, in my last year, and this one I really feel this one's pretty hard. And it really dictates my life going forward. The union workers have been without a deal since August. Now, there's still a glimmer of hope that this could all be settled over the weekend. Talks will continue, but if a deal isn't struck, that means faculty and staff could hit the picket lines as of Monday. At York University, I'm Natish Pisano, City News.